Good morning once again. So for today class, our subject is science and our topic for today is about the habitats of plants. But since we finished already the discussion before, we're going to do an activity today, which is on page 17 on your workbook. So kindly open your workbook on page 17. Okay, let's start. So here are the vocabulary that we're going to use on your activity for today. First is we have long roots, long roots. So cactus has a long roots. So this is an example of cactus, needle shaped leaves, needle shaped leaves because of their spikes. As you can see if there are spikes there, it's like a needle, right? So. It is called needle shaped leaves because of their spikes. And thick stem, thick stem, big stem, like that. Okay, it's very thick, I should say. So again, long roots, needle shaped leaves, thick stem. So let's start now your activity. So on page 17, in number one, we have here the question which goes. The diagram below shows a cactus. So here's a cactus. And on letter A, suggest a suitable habitat for the cactus. That means, what is the best habitat for the cactus? As we have learned before, that cactus live in the desert, right? So the suitable habitat for the cactus is desert. Okay? Because cactus lives in the desert or they grow in the desert letter b explain briefly how each of the characteristics helps the cactus survive in its habitat explain briefly how each of the characteristics help the cactus survive in its habitats okay so thick st stem thick stem okay how does the stem helps the cactus survive. Okay, it's like this. The stem of cactus serves as the storage of water so that the cactus can live for longer days in the desert. And we all know that in the desert, it doesn't rain. Okay? So, the stem of the cactus keeps water. So, the cactus can live for longer time or longer period of time so if you're going to slice the cactus the, its stem you can see inside of the stem that it's watery because it is where the water is being stored okay so that's how the stem helps the cactus to survive or to live for a longer time in the desert Next is needle shaped leaves. Okay, the question is why is it that cactus have the spikes or the needle shaped leaves like this ones? Why do you think so? Okay, this spikes is used to protect themselves from hungry animals so that other animals will not eat them. Okay, so that's the use of needles needles because this is like a needle okay it's called needle shaped leaves so this is used to protect them from hungry animals for the animals not to eat them okay so the reason why cactus have needles is to prevent thirsty or hungry animals from eating or damaging the plant next is long roots okay why do you think that a cactus has a long roots because this helps them to absorb moisture from the soil easier okay as we all know that the roots absorb water from the soil or from the ground so that's the reason why cactus have long roots in order for the cactus to absorb water easier and last question is, 
Why is sunlight important to cactus? Why is sunlight important to cactus? Sunlight is very important to cactus and any other plants because they use the energy of the sun to process their food. As we learned before during our lesson about the photosynthesis, wherein plants need the energy of the sun to process their food called glucose or starch, right? That's why all green plants need sunlight because they need the energy of the sun to process or make their food. Understood? Okay, so that's the reason why sunlight is very important to cactus and not only to cactus but to all green plants. So that ends our activity. So kindly answer page 17 on your workbook, number one. Okay, answer only number one, letter A, B, and C. So since we are done now with the habitats of plants, next meeting we are going to learn about the habitats of animals or where do animals live. Okay, so that's all and thank you for listening. See you again on the next period.